So this is Chris, the Idaho Painter, here on Home Improvement How To's. Today we're gonna be showing you how I go about spraying lap siding. We've got some, um, and this is kind of three lap siding. I don't know what the heck we call it, warehouse or siding. But I'm gonna be spraying this stuff today, give you some simple tips and tricks spraying it and um, some of the tools that I use while I'm spraying it. So hopefully this will make you a better sprayer and um, a faster sprayer, make your job more like a professional did it. So kind of cool. We're live. John's right here with two phones in his hand, Instagram and Facebook. So we got a live show going on at the same time. So here we go. Got a house right here. This is um, warehouse or siding. This is siding we typically see quite a bit on almost all the homes up here, probably about 90% of the homes that we're dealing with. We've already done a lot of priming on it. Now it's the spraying process. When I'm spraying, to, when we're spraying exteriors, both John and I, we use a 30 inch gun extension. And the reason why we use this gun extension this long, because I can reach higher and I can reach farther, which means I can spray faster, get more work done, get more production done, and basically make more money. And I don't have to walk as much, so it saves my knees and saves me, so I'm not as tired at the end of the day. We always do on um, exteriors wear a respirator with um, the a two two zero nine one uh, respirator 3m um, respirator covers whatever the heck you call them. <laughs> but anyways um, just a little bit tongue-tied today but I'm not wearing the respirator uh, typically when we're making our videos we don't so I can talk and teach at the same time so I, when we're spraying our exteriors we also use a 515 tip on all the exteriors we're running our pressure at 2200 psi and that's some of the um, things about it here's a 30 inch gun extension this is a graco rat guard with a 515 tip i like the graco contractor guns it's my favorite gun i like the two finger guns that's the only gun because you have more or the only trigger i like because you have more control of the gun i do also wear gloves so i can grip the gun have a little more control of the gun also Hopefully, I'm not sure how many people we got live here, John. Yeah, 13 on Instagram, 14 on Facebook. It's cool, got some people live so uh, on Instagram and Facebook. So here we go, I'm gonna show you, give you some tips and tricks. Now spraying, when spraying, you're typically gonna wanna find some nice end-to-end -end sections. So I, got, I can go start and stop right here. So I don't wanna start and stop in the middle of the field right here because it, it'll give me a lap mark or a heavy mark right in the middle of the field. And, and you may not see it now, but years down the road, you'll see it because it weathers a little bit differently. So I'm gonna look for some logical start and stop points. I'm gonna start here and in here. And so I'm gonna go back and forth over here, some start and stop points here and here or here and over there. So this is a really good start and stop point that I've chosen right here. Right here on this side of the house, good start and stop point. We got right here, this piece of trim right here and there. Another, another tip, I'm gonna show you when spraying, we've got these laps right here and this lap kind of curls underneath and you wanna make sure your sprayer is at an, at an angle so it gets underneath that lap. So it's pretty critical when I'm down low, my spray gun is pointing in an upward direction. And then, um, Another tip is when you're starting, I'm gonna start my, my spray pattern. I'm gonna start spraying here and end over there. And if you wanna save paint, it's good to release your trigger each time. If you're just going for speed, you can keep your trigger held the whole time and I'll show you both techniques. But here we go, let me show you what it looks like. So I'm down low, spraying up. Now, as you notice, I, I don't even have to walk back and forth because of my long extension. I got a fence here, so you know, that kind of um, limits me from standing back far enough, but it still works with a 30 inch extension. If I fence was really close, I'd just put a shorter extension on. They switch really easily, and they don't have to be tightened with a wrench. They're just hand tight extensions. And so that, that's what it looks like spraying, you know, releasing your trigger. Now I'll do it without releasing my trigger. And another tip is, as you're spraying, just overlap 50% as you're going up so you get really good coverage. So here we go. Trying to keep it up at an angle. So just had a spit, and that's kind of common. She just that spit, and just to clear that spit out, I just take reverse my tip. That's one thing nice about these tips is they're reversible. I can reverse it, clear it, and then it'll start spraying again. So we'll start again. So 
So you can see that. And now a, a tip is when I'm spraying, it's like how fast do you go when you're spraying? I'm watching that paint come out. I'm watching it hit the siding. And, and with enough experience, you can see it hitting and you can see kind of about how much is getting on there. And I wanna just slow down enough that I'm getting enough paint. It's better to get too much paint than not enough paint. So you definitely wanna go slow enough that you get enough paint on your surface. So you can kind of see how fast I'm going with 2200 PSI and a 515 tip. And that's a relatively new tip. Got my gun pointed up at an angle. Got a question on Instagram for you. What's the question? Where do you start and stop on a ladder to avoid overlaps? Can you avoid it? So that, that's a, a good question is once this is right here, we'll be getting up on a ladder, but my ladders, I can reach one of the things that's one thing nice about this is I can still reach up here and um, not have start and stops in the middle of a high peak. But when you get onto super high peaks, here's what we do and super high peaks where you got to be on a 24 foot ladder and there's no way to have a large logical start and stop. We'll get three ladders, um, three to four extension ladders lined up and and um, I probably shouldn't say this because it's not necessarily approved, but we um, ladder hop and so people, you'll, you'll just be spraying along and you'll just move from ladder to ladder spraying those high sides. Um, if you don't want to ladder hop and move from ladder to ladder up top, you just go up and down the ladders and I'll have one guy that's just hopping the ladders and so you'll quickly go up and down the ladders and you want it to be shaded. If you do it in the sun, you're going to get you know, um, start and stop marks because the paint's going to be drying so fast. So right here, this side is on the sun. If it's a high side, it's not ideal to spray. Wait till the sun gets on the other side of the house and then spray this while it's in the shade so it's a, it's sometimes it's um, you can't get it where it's shaded and another tip is do those sides in the morning when it's really cool but that's you know the tip is is they have multiple ladders on that side and have somebody moving those ladders so you can get up and down those ladders quickly so your overlaps stay wet because you have you have to have a wet edge in order not to see those lap marks so it's a very good question so a question on Instagram we got Instagram and Facebook Live for my YouTube followers that are watch, gonna be watching this on YouTube. So here again, once again, if you release your trigger, you're gonna save, if on this house itself, it's about 1,500 square feet. If I'm um, not releasing my trigger while I'm spraying the entire time, I'm probably gonna, uh, gonna save probably about a half a gallon of paint. Phone got so, too hot, Instagram's down. Instagram's down. Yeah. So here we go. And this is releasing the trigger. trying to reconnect on Facebook now too. There you go, and that's, and that's not releasing the, or that's releasing the trigger right there. So that's what it looks like. There's some simple tips and tricks on um, spraying some of the things I use to spray and how I go about spraying this lap siding. I'm gonna show you one more time. So our phone's overheated, so they shut off. We're, li we're live here on Instagram and Facebook. They overheated, shut off, and now we're back on again. So I'm gonna show you on this corner now um, a tip with cardboard shields and cardboard shield holder. This holder right here, simple little tool. This makes it so I can spray all the way down to the bottom of the footings and not get paint on the footings. So we'll just use this tool right here just like this. And this is the Kraft cardboard shield holder. And the reason why I like this one is it adjusts very simply and easily with no tools. So you can see right there, I got the bottom sprayed. Now my logical start and stop point right here. And we got some paint leaking out there. The tip was off to the side a little bit. It had some paint leaking off to the side. So just made that adjustment. And here's another tip inside these uh, trim boards right here. You want to get inside these corners right here. And so you want your gun to be angled through that direction. So I'm going. So my gun, in order to get into those corners, I'm pointing at this direction and pointing at that direction. Just like that. When I do my corner boards, that's how I'm going to spray them. We go back and we back roll and we back brush all of our trim boards and all of our trim. 
So here we go over here. We got, uh, we've already painted this, but a logical start and stop here would be right here and right to that door right there. Our soffits, we'll um, show you how to spray those in another, in another video. But um, hopefully all you people on Instagram enjoyed these tips and tricks and Facebook that I've done today. And uh, we did have a little issue with it overheating. We're gonna come back next week and try this again. So there you have it. Hopefully you've enjoyed this video on some tips and tricks on how to spray lap siding. All the tools and accessories I sell, you can find them down or I sell them in my tool store or you can find them in the video description below. Like my extensions, the guns I like, the tips, cardboard shield holder, the craft cardboard shield holder. This thing is absolutely amazing. Number one selling tool in my tool store, this shield holder. If you don't follow me on Instagram or Facebook, definitely follow me on Instagram. Give away shirts and hats on my Instagram and Facebook pages. Instagram's Idaho painters and uh and facebook is the idaho painter go check out my web page it is the idaho and i got my live show every monday every monday mountain time 7 p.m go check my live show out if you want to purchase my shirts and hats you can also find those on my website the idaho hopefully you've enjoyed this video and once again we'll see you on my next video out